After a great night's sleep at Tynamar, it's time to get back out on the water. Today it's only going to be Jason and I fishing, so hoping we get into the same amount of fish we did last night because that'll be a recipe for some tired arms. I truly believe a big reason for our success fishing is due to our Kingfisher 3025 boat. Everything from the layout of the boat to the ride of the boat, the durability of the boat, all contributes to success on the water. You know, when you have a big back deck, a big dance floor, maneuvering around, you know, the boat's agile on the water, it's comfortable when you're riding out to fishing grounds. All that stuff adds to a fun and successful day on the water. Fresh charge, fresh little scent, boom. Guys seem to be coming up pretty quick to the surface anyways. Mm -hmm. Another thing too, when the tide's running hard like that, you're gonna find you get a lot of fish only going in one direction, and it's right. usually with the tide. Right. If you're, you're bucking into it, you're you're not covering a lot of water, and your flasher's just <laughs> And if you turn around, you're covering more water, your gear's working at a better speed, yeah. so. Sometimes you have to pick up, run up, come back down. Do a one-way tax. Yep. Well, it just saves you time too sometimes, eh? Just stay in the zone longer. We got our background noise back, eh? The sea lions. Yeah, you can hear the sea lions. Symphony. We've pretty much had the whole show to ourselves here today. I think there's, been there's one yeah, or there's maybe some, two boats. There's two guys bottom fishing, in. but that's it. For rockfish and lingcod, a couple of good little pinnacles around here, but here we are. Want to sample that one? Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Hey. Yeah. It's a bit windy, so I just gotta watch yeah. this stuff here. We should be good. Just kind of kicked up a, for a second, eh? So I'll grab this and then. Okay. So we have a hatchery fish. That's a hatchery? Yeah. Okay. So it's missing a tadpole's fin? Correct. Thirty inches. Thirty one inches. Nice. There we go. We'll get him back in. Still a lot of energy. Be ready to go right away. I can feel him starting to kick here. There he goes. Bye bye. All right. Nicely done. A lot of times when you start looking at stock composition, you'll see that you know the mark rate is maybe 17 or 20 percent. But if we were clipping all of our fish, it, it's often be, would be 40, 50, or even much 60. Higher. Yeah, much higher. <laughs> and you kind of want to see it above that 40 percent clipped rate to, to look at perhaps like a mark selective fishery where you can selectively harvest hatchery fish. So that's why this this data is important. So, so again, we need ear, funding earmarked for machinery yeah, that can Yeah, we have trailers that, that, can, right? that can crank out some good numbers. So then we'll take uh, that sample here. I'm just gonna put this on here so it doesn't blow away. And then that goes right there. So that's, we send that in along with this. We've got all the data. Awesome. So done, that's, that's it. Cool. Pretty quick, yep. Keep, you know, quick measurement like that. Let the fish go, yeah, get a little DNA sample. Had a ton of energy, swam away strong. Tuck that in. And then uh, once we get the gear back in the water, we'll wash this off so there's no cross contamination and we're good to go. Let's get another one. Perfect, let's do it. Wow, did we have a phenomenal trip fishing here at Entrance Island, just outside of Nanaimo. I'll definitely be spending more time over here. There's no question about it. I want to thank Jason and Jay and, and Ty Namara for a fantastic time. Great company on the water. It, it was awesome. This trip just reinforces that a Mark Selective fishery is the way to go on the West Coast. The sports fishing industry is such an integral part of the economic stimulus in British Columbia. To take that away, it, it, it doesn't make any sense at all. You know, we could have a thriving business in the sports fishing industry if we just get on board with a mark selective fishery. Closures are not the answer, but rather catching select marked fish, which are essentially bred for retention without affecting wild stocks. Sports fishermen are conservationists 
and we want a healthy fishery as much as anyone else. <laughs>